Hey guys, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. Today we got a sweet treat for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a vegan cheesecake. Got this recipe off of Pinterest and these are some of the ingredients you're gonna need. Some vegan graham crackers, vegan butter, any type of plant-based milk, coconut cream, vanilla extract, and some vegan cream cheese and also some lemons. So this is it. If you're interested in seeing how I put together a vegan cheesecake, keep watching. So first we're gonna throw our graham crackers in the food processor and get it to a fine consistency. I'm using the cinnamon ones. These were the only vegan options available in my store. Once your graham crackers are all blended, you're gonna go ahead and slowly add your melted vegan butter. This is gonna bind your crust together. Make sure you get the graham crackers at the bottom of the food processor and mix them thoroughly. That way you have an even and consistent crust. I almost forgot to add the brown sugar. You wanna make sure you do this step before you add your melted butter. So here I'm showing you that I added some more butter to get the consistency that I'm looking for. I believe I added about a stick more of butter, but the full recipe would be down below in the description. Okay, so this is the texture that I'm looking for. Still very crumbly, but easy to mold. So next I'm taking my cheesecake spring pen and I lined it with parchment paper. You wanna make sure you spray your pen before you add your crust. If you don't have one of these pans, you can use a regular pie crust, but I'll link down below where I got mine from. So you're gonna add your graham cracker mix to the pie pan, spread it out evenly, and towards the edges, you're gonna bring it up slightly. So this is pretty much how it should look. Go ahead and set this aside and get ready to make the filling. So for the filling, we're gonna be taking four containers of vegan cream cheese. I'm using this Kite Hill plain cream cheese. It actually turned out really, really good. So I definitely recommend this one. And you're gonna go ahead and throw this all in your blender. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Next, you're gonna add your white sugar. Next, we're taking four tablespoons of cornstarch. This is gonna help your filling come out nice and thick. And the last two ingredients are vanilla extract and coconut cream unsweetened. And now you're gonna blend everything up until you get a smooth filling. So once you have your pie crust and filling prepared, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then go ahead and add your filling into your pie crust. It was recommended that you wrap foil around the bottom and the sides of the pan. I'm not really sure why I'm thinking to control the heat, but if anyone knows why, let me know down below. All right guys, so this is the cheesecake fresh out the oven. We're gonna go ahead and let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes and then pop it in the fridge for about four hours plus or overnight. I do recommend overnight and you can leave it plain like this or top it with your favorite sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a pecan caramel drizzle to put on top. And as you can see, the middle is still a little jiggly. That is completely normal. Do not pop it back in the oven. Once it sets in the fridge, you'll be good. Now moving on to the pecan caramel drizzle, we're gonna add a stick of butter and melt that in a pan. So 
So once you have your butter fully melted, you're gonna go ahead and add a cup of packed brown sugar and mix that into the butter until it's fully dissolved. Once your sugar is dissolved, you're gonna go ahead and add your teaspoon of vanilla extract and your 1 4th cup of plant-based milk. Mix it all together, bring it to a boil for about a minute or so. Once you see the light foam at the top, go ahead and remove it from the fire. Let it sit off the fire for about five minutes and let it chill in the fridge for about 45 minutes to an hour. Forgot to mention, once you take it off the fire, go ahead and add your pecans. So it is the next day. Our cheesecake has been in the fridge for about 12 plus hours. Once you take it out, you wanna go ahead and cut around the edges to make sure it detaches from the pan. So this is the cheesecake. Like I said earlier, you can leave it plain like this or you can top it with whatever you like. We actually made the caramel drizzle the same day that we took the cheesecake out the fridge. So now we're going to go ahead and top it on top of the cheesecake. OMG, this is so satisfying. You guys, this recipe came out so good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do make it, please tag us on Instagram. Let us know how it came out and we'll talk to you later.